these steps do apply to each and every season this is what i use in each and every season and then you could also use this for your um, room sprays your wax melts your candles whatever you're doing with scents and even if you make soaps and you use fragrance oils in your soaps you could do this as well Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tony, and I'm the co-founder of The Higher Company. In today's video, I'll just be talking about how I come up with new scents for my candle line and wax melts and other stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. All right, so I got this question a while back, like in my comment section, how do I know what scents to mix? How do I come up with my fragrance? Like, how do I come up with my candle scents? Because I do mix most of them. Like the majority of my candle line the um, fragrance oils are mixed so I just wanted to make a video to help anybody who was wondering the same thing disclaimer just excuse my voice I'm still getting over a cold but let's just get into um, the first step so the first thing I do is obviously take into consideration the season that we're in so you know you have spring summer winter fall in no particular order <laughs> but um just take into consideration the season that you're in so for example we're in the spring or about to be in the spring i'm not sure when spring starts but i know spring candles are already rolling out so you have your florals like your fresh scents maybe like a crisp apple like scents like that so that's the first thing i do is take into consideration the season that we're in don't forget to follow us on instagram and visit our website at thehyaco.com also think about the type like the kinds of scents that you want in your candle line for that season so what i mean by that is it's a bunch of different scents kind of that go with each season but personally for me i know that i don't like every single scent that goes with the season so if you remember i said before in the fall i'm not like a sweet pumpkiny caramel like those very strong sweet scents i'm not that i don't like those um kind of scents so that's not the type of sense that i make <laughs> and since we're in the spring some people may not like fresh like linen type scents some people may not like the super floral scents like roses or anything so just take into consideration the scents that you do want to make and the scents that you don't want to make that will make the sense that you want to mix together more refined so you could focus more on like what kind of candles you want to create. The third step that I take is figure out how many scents I want to make. Now I've said this plenty of times before, I like making four scents cause that's what's most manageable to me. So I always choose four scents. Sometimes I toy with the idea of making more, but then I always just go straight back to making four scents. So after I pick the number of candles that I want to make, I definitely go down to scent types again and say so, for instance, if I want four candles, I'll do floral, fruity, um, and whatever scents go within that season. So that way I have a candle for each type scent within that season. And so it's a candle for everyone. And then it's easier for your customers because it is a scent for everyone. And I know four is kind of like a small number when you're looking for candles for a season, but that's just like what I want to do. So, so it's your business. So however many scents, if you want to do six, if you want to do eight and have two per, like two candles per the type of scent category, then just go from there the fifth thing i do now is whatever scent i choose i always choose a strong scent or two strong scents and a mellow scent so that'll kind of be like your top and your base so what do i mean is so in the fall i had like a pumpkin spice type scent so what i did like my thought process was i want like a candle in the food category so i chose like a pumpkin like a strong pumpkin scent and like maybe a vanilla base and so you have a strong scent a strong top note with like a mellow note to kind of like balance the two a bonus like step or bonus tip in how i pick whatever scents i want to mix together is it usually starts with an inspiration so i'll you know go shopping or I'll look at candles, you know, like when I'm in a store and I'll sm uh, smell a candle and I really like it and I'll be like, I want to recreate this scent. But obviously you don't want to create the exact scent 
that somebody else made. Well, if you don't want to, I don't want to. So I don't want to create the exact same scent that somebody else made. So I kind of like switch it up. So for instance, I'll insert a picture. This is spring now, so this could help somebody like right now. It's a spring candle from Target and I'll put it up on the screen. And I really, really like that scent. And so it's jasmine and white amber. So my process in doing this is I'll go online and I'll just type in jasmine fragrance oil and white amber fragrance oil or amber fragrance oil and so now when I have those two scents that will be that candle and I know like everybody's fragrance oil with the label jasmine or with the label amber won't smell the same so just go based off your most trusted fragrance oil supplier that you use for your business so now that I will have the jasmine and the amber for me to switch it up I want a, I would want a mellow type base. So for the base, I'll probably use like um, driftwood or like a something smoky. Ba like, how do I say? Like based off of how I want it to smell. So I want it to be that candle with a little bit of a smoky undertone to it. Cause so it'd be like fresh with smoky <laughs> i hope that makes sense like in my head i feel like it'll smell good and sometimes i just like to spit this out here sometimes i'll think of a scent to mix and then when i mix it i'll be like yeah this wasn't a good idea so i haven't mixed this one as yet but this is just a thought this is just a thought process i had behind um this scent that i want to create so i have the jasmine and the amber and then i'll probably get like driftwood or you know like cigarette the fragrance oil and now if i do something strong like cigarette i'll probably have to go in with a different mellow base something like a French vanilla something that won't be there like when like it won't you won't really smell it or you will probably be like it's something within this candle that I like but I can't put my finger on it that's what the like the French vanilla in this candle would be it'll kind of tie together all the scents with like a buffer to it that's what I'm trying to say so yeah I hope this helped y'all make sense for every upcoming season this like these steps do apply to each and every season this is what i use in each and every season and then you can also use this for your um, room sprays your wax melts your candles whatever you're doing with scents and even if you make soaps and you use fragrance oils in your soaps you could do this as well any type of scent blending or scent mixing that i do this is just the process that i follow and so i hope this helps y'all in some way shape or form if it did please leave a comment down below what kind of scents you're mixing for the spring i already made my spring candles so far I've did three and i still have to make the one i just described to y'all like the jasmine and the white amber and yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to watch the other videos on our channel and i'll see y'all in my next video bye